Thank you for joining us for the news on One Arab Radio to present it. I'm Petli with And I'm Helen Banga. The headlines. Zambia commemorates International Children's Day of Broadcasting. Says focus for sensitization investments. Zambia Cognistic of Quality Education. Now the news in detail. Children in Zambia today have joined in commemorating the International Children's Day of Broadcasting. The event this year is being commemorated under the theme End Violence Against Children Through Safe Media. Many media stations, including One Love Radio, have taken time to produce and air quality programming about children in line with the theme so as to allow children be a part of the programming process. The Independent Broadcasting Authority, IBA, has advised media houses that the involvement of children in broadcasting must not be a one-off event but must instead go beyond ICDB in order to allow for diverse content. IBA further said that the standard operating procedures for broadcasting in Zambia requires broadcasting stations to take reasonable steps to protect children and that children must also be protected by, by appropriate scheduling of programs. Meanwhile, the International Children's Day of Broadcasting, ICDB, was created by UNICEF in 1991 in order to encourage broadcasters worldwide to create awareness for children issues and allow children to be part of their programming and presentation. Private Sector Development Association, PSDA, has supported the need for fuel pump prices to be reviewed by the Energy Regulation Board quarterly and not monthly. Association Chairperson Yusuf Dodia says changes every month will result to instability, hence affecting plans and budgets of people and industries at large. Mr. Dodia, who is also an economist, has noted the need for the country to rationalize and become more cost-effective with fuel supply to the economy and by, ex by expanding the country's railway system. Citizens' Environmental and Social Concern, CESCO, has urged the Ministry of Green Economy and Environment to embark on environmental sensitization to the local people. Speaking to One Love Radio in an exclusive interview, CESCO Executive Director Kono Hakapia says if the local people are taught on how to take care and protect the environment, then there would be a mutual understanding between citizens and the ministry. Mr. Hakapia says the ministry should invest in sensitization by breaking down lessons into different Zambian languages and ensuring that words are simplified for better understanding by the locals. Zambia National Education Coalition, ZANEC, has remained optimistic that no public school will turn away kids due to overcrowding in classes. ZANEC Executive Director George Hamusunga says parents and guardians have taken the free education policy as an opportunity to take their children to school. Health schools and government through their district commissioners should sit down and find ways and means of ensuring children are provided with quality education and safe learning in classrooms. Mr. Hamusunga was speaking in an exclusive interview with One Love Radio News. <laughs> So after reading agriculture news, there is no bite, so you just take a break and afterwards. Okay. 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 Zambia Association for Smallholder Farmers in Zambia has called on Zambians to be creative and engage in livestock farming. Executive Director Dr. Frank Kayula says livestock farming provides many opportunities of which youth should be interested in. 
Dr. Kayula says value addition of processing livestock products can multiply income in many Zambians' pockets. He was speaking in an interview with One Love Radio News. We'll take a break. Advertise on One Love Radio today. Trust me, our rates are amazing.